you just witness a change, uh, a history, because this is my very first time conference presentation. <laughs> Uh, I'm Xiaoxuan, I'm from Taiwan. I'm Xiaoxuan, I'm from Taiwan. Right here, tiny little island. <laughs> and I started improv in Taiwan nine years ago when there was no improv. And uh, luckily, I got to do improv as my full profession. It has been several years. And uh, I have this company called Guts Improv. And uh, this is our beautiful studio in Taipei, Taiwan, where we held all our, our rehearsal and workshops. And this picture is from two months ago, one of my regular two-day improv intensive workshop. And this guy over here is a typical Taiwanese college boy who's very shy use brain more than his body, and speak very little voice. And uh, at the end of the workshop, he revealed himself. He said uh, on the first day of the workshop, he got the studio uh, earlier, like one hour earlier. And he wandered around the front door of our studio. And uh, he, he was so scared about what's going to happen because he's new to improv. And uh, he, he also struggled about if he should leave, just turn away and leave, although he, it took him two hours to travel to Taipei, and he already paid for the workshops. And when he revealed that to me, I, I feel so emotional because if this is his door, I have my door too. This was, this was my door. This is School of Theater in Berkeley Repertory Theater. It's not too far from here. Uh, uh, in 2003, I was an intern in Berkeley Rep for a year. And I get to do the workshop uh, for free. This uh, one time improv comedy workshop. And before the workshop, I was so scared to death uh, about the idea of acting in English. But I was so curious about what's improv. I have never heard about this before. So I'm glad I went into that door. I made the step <laughs> into the door and made me more curious about improv. So a couple of months later, I came to another door this door is <laughs> right there. Yeah, everybody was there last night. And uh, I took more improv in here. And uh, every time when I have to come to the workshop, I, I, the same, I, I very, I'm very scared. And I, I'm thinking about not going. And uh, that's that's magic about improv. You, you, you feel scared every time, but you, you, you still wanted to do it again and again. And by the time I, I, I wrap up my study in the United States, I talked with my beginning improv teacher. I said, um, I won't be able to do improv in Taiwan when I got back, because there's no improv in Taiwan, and you need partners for improv. And my beginning improv teacher, she said, you should start teach improv in Taiwan once you get back. And when your theater company uh, do your first show, I will go to Taiwan and see the show. <laughs> Guess who's this fabulous teacher? <laughs> I guess that really planted a seed in here, and that's what I get to do after that. Oh. <laughs> yeah.
So from nothing to now we we already done uh, about two hundred public improv performance and uh, about two thousand people uh, was our workshop participants. So uh, it's amazing improv make magic happen and uh, but. If you want to introduce something new, try something new uh, to your world, uh, it can be uh, frustrated and you have doubts to yourself and other people. And uh, it feels lonely sometimes. Yeah, and, but yeah, again, Impra is magical. Uh, you, your partners start showing up, and uh, you get to do more and more, and uh, things keep happening. Uh, so that's my story for improv. And I know this is a applied improv <laughs> conference. Uh, I, I want to talk a little more about apply improv. Okay, so besides theater improv, I also get to do some apply improv in Taiwan with universities, non-for-profit organization, and the corporates. And uh, I, I, I really want to uh, use this time to uh, get a message to invite more theater improvisers or theater improv coaches. Because I, I, I'm from the perspective of uh, theater improvisers. And uh, I, in order to do more applied improv work, I have to uh, go out and learn new things. So I, I step into few more new doors uh, to facilitation, and uh, I started learn some coaching this year. And uh, it, it also feels scared if you want to step into new field, new doors. And in this conference, we have heard message about speak their language. <laughs> it's like we are from different planets, different worlds. So from theater to the real world, I know some of the theater improvisers will hesitate about it. And uh, I want to share my little story about it. Uh, I just did this uh, satire coaching model workshop like uh, in the last month. And yeah. And I, I, I did it because I want to work better with my fellow improvisers as a, like a managers uh, and a leader in the group. So, uh, but when I get it to that workshop, it's all that 15 uh, business executives. And I'm this person from another world. And uh, I, I think, hmm, Maybe if, uh, when we need to divide to different groups, no one will want to uh, be with the same group with me. But when the teachers say, we, let's break out to the group, suddenly there were at least five people <laughs> in front of me. They were like, can you be the group with me? <laughs> I was so surprised. <laughs> And the, the funny thing is, like two days before the class, the teacher of that workshop actually called me and want to make sure I'm the right person to sign up that class because <laughs> it says they need the, the 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 class is for three years above a business executives. And I I thought I am the business executive for my company. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, and the best thing is, I, I'll say, uh, by taking those, those kind of classes, it, it's expensive, <laughs> and, uh, and, but it's a good investment, because if you already know how to improvise, 
I think uh, with a little more investment, you will become fabulous a facilitator or coach, like Anita just said. Yeah, it's, it's a great investment. So uh, for that class, right after that class, I got hired by one of my classmates who is a, a human resources executive, and I got double back from the tuition I just paid. <laughs> so so uh, I've been this conference for four times, and uh, I, 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 I think I meet more and more theater improvisers coming to this uh, conference. I think it's great. But I, I already note, uh, also noticed there are uh, people who already done apply improv, so they maybe means they are in better shape in their uh, finance. <laughs> and I wanted to uh, invite more poor improvisers <laughs> coming to this world. And uh, it's a great investment. Get yourself stepped into the store. And I brought three poor improvisers to this conference <laughs> this year. <laughs>